Hi, and welcome to question five of the 2022 Junior Cert Higher Level Maths. So if you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email to shanetroy at gmail.com and please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. So question five here is looking like uh, area volume and let's read through it. Uh, it says here a balloon pump is made from a cylinder with an internal diameter of six centimeters and a height of 20 centimeters. You see there 20, uh, sorry, 20 by six. Okay, and that's a cylinder. So uh, each time the pump is pumped, it passes one full cylinder of air into a balloon. So that's a certain volume of air can be pumped each press. Okay. Part A says, show that the volume of one full cylinder of air is 180 pi, pi centimeters cubed. Now in the maths tables, I'm just gonna drag these across, okay. Um, the, the this was goes to contents, you're looking here at area volume, and we're looking here at the volume of a cylinder, okay. So I'm gonna write that formula down and I put it on the screen there uh, down the bottom, but that's the volume is equal to pi r squared, so the area of a circle, times the height. Now, we need to know what the radius is, and we need to know what the height is to be able to find the volume. Now, I know the radius because I'm told the diameter is six, so six divided by two, to get half the diameter is equal to three centimeters. And that's the radius. Now the height I'm told directly, and that's 20 centimeters. So I can fill in all this. Now I'm not gonna fill in for pi um, because I see here the answer contains pi. So it's pi times uh, three squared times 20. And that's calculator job. Now the answer on the next page, Okay, put that to the calculator, I got 180 pi. Is that equal? Uh, actually, I actually probably should have written there in the notes, like confirmed or shown or some way verified, whatever. I probably should have included that in the notes. So that's part A, it's fairly nice. Okay, again, you're given the formula, so writing it out. If you put anything in there, you're gonna jump up to the two. If you can put it in correctly and work it out, you're gonna jump up to the five. Now part B, part one and two are marked together. And it says, Dara is inflating a balloon in the shape of a sphere. And they give you this image in the uh, exam paper. When fully inflated, the balloon has a radius of 15 centimeters. Okay. It says then find the volume of Dara's balloon when it is fully inflated. Give your answer in centimeters cubed in terms of pi. So this is not the same volume. This is, the vo uh, this is not a cylinder. This is the volume of a sphere, and the formula for that is in the math tables. It's four over three times pi times r to the power of three. So this was pretty straightforward because I know the radius. I was told directly that the radius is 15. There's two unknowns in this formula. I'm given one of them so I can work this out. Volume is equal to four over three times pi times 15 to the power of three. Put that through the calculator. And I'm just gonna check the answer here. I got four, five, zero, zero pi, and that's centimeters cubed. Job done, okay. So next bit's a bit harder. Dara pumps the pump once every second. How many seconds would it take Dara to fully inflate his balloon? Now, if we recall, the volume of air pumped was, I'm gonna have to double check this, was 180 pi centimeters cubed, okay? I know that this is the volume I need to pump. So in a, in a sense, how many of these are there in this? Now, that's division. So it's 4,500 pi over 180 pi. Now straight away, the pi's will cancel, one of the zeros will cancel. I'm left with 450 over 18. And the question then is, why not use a calculator? Okay, and you go straight to your answer of 25 seconds. 
Now, it's always worth with questions like this, putting it through the, I call the BS meter, and go, if I was pumping for 25 seconds with a hand pump, would that blow up a balloon? Like, yeah, it doesn't seem weird. If it was like a, a, a thousand seconds, like, Jesus, that's, that's a long time. If it was like one second, really? It just, you, there should be a realistic nature to these questions. Now, five part C says, Gustav is inflating a bigger balloon. So it's not the same balloon. And that is also in the shape of a sphere. He also pumps the pump once every second. His balloon is inflated after 50 seconds. Find the radius of Gustav's balloon when it is fully inflated and give your answer correct to one decimal place. So if he's doing one pump every second, I know the volume of the pump is 180 pi. So each second is one of them. So I'm looking for 50 times 180 pi, which would be, I just check the answer there. It would, should work out to give you 9,000 pi centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of his bigger um, balloon. Okay. Now I know the volume of the big balloon is a sphere. So it's the same formula, four over three times pi times r to the power of three. There's two unknowns here, the volume and the radius. I'm looking for the radius. That's what they say in the question. Question is, do I know the volume? And I, I do, it's, that's what the 9,000 pi is. Okay, so my unknown is the R, and I need to solve this for that. Now straight away, if there's something common to both sides, they cancel. So pi and pi will cancel. In, in, in essence, I'm dividing by pi both sides. I don't need to bother doing it because that's what, that's what will happen. And I'm left with 9,000 is equal to four over three R to the power of cube, R cubed. Now, one way of looking at this is like, I want to get rid of the four over three. So I could divide this side by four over three. That will cancel it. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to both. And I'm gonna to jump to the answer here because that would leave me with this number, 6750 pi, is equal to pi r to the power of three. Now in the, in the notes here, I didn't cancel the pi yet. I'm doing it here. So the next step in the notes is I'm dividing both sides by pi to get rid of the pi. And I'm left then with 6750 is equal to r to the power of three. Then to get rid of the cube on the r, I'm cube rooting it. I'm doing the opposite to it. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to both sides. This is a calculator job. Okay, I put it through. I got 18.89. And then the the cube root cancel the cube, I'm left with my R. Now we were asked to leave our question to one decimal place. So 18.89, the nine is greater than five. So the next number goes up by one and I get my answer of 18.9. And that's it, okay. So uh, I think that's the end of question five. So see you on question six. And as always, if you want a copy of the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. Thank you.